Okay, so yesterday we stopped singing the song, the Rhyme This Time song, but I know you like the song, so we'll sing it one time, and then the rest of the time we're going to do it without the song. Okay? Rhyme, rhyme, do they rhyme this time? Do they sound the same? Come on, let's play this game. Ring. Sing. Do they rhyme this time? Yes, they rhyme this time. Good job. Now we're going to go a little bit faster and not sing the song. Okay, so I'm going to give you two words, and you're going to show me with your thumb. If they rhyme, you're going to show me a thumbs up. If they do not rhyme, you're going to show me a thumbs down. Mary, I need you standing on your spot looking up here. All right. Dream, scream. All right, show me with your thumb. Your thumb should be up. Those rhyme. Okay, thumbs down. Shout, ship. Shout, All right. Oh, I see mostly thumbs down because those do not rhyme. They do not rhyme. All right, I want everybody to check their body and make sure you are standing on your dot and you are not hopping around and moving around. You're standing on your dot. Amara? All right. Smoke, smile. Smoke, smile. Show me with your thumbs. Let's see. Your thumb should be down. Those do not rhyme. They start the same, but they do not end the same. All right, next two. Wide side. Wide side. Okay, show me with your thumbs. Okay. All right. Ooh, I see lots of thumbs up. Good job. Wide side. That rhymes. Let's do one more. Grim thin. All right, show me with your thumbs. Let's see. I see lots of thumbs up. Good job. Those rhyme. Awesome. Okay, now we're going to delete a syllable and take a syllable off, just like we did yesterday. So, we're going to, I'm going to say it, and then I want you to repeat it. I am a member of the club. I am a member of the club. Member. Member. Okay, now I'm going to whisper the first syllable as I bend my knees. Okay? Ready? Member. Member. M. Burr. 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 Good job. I see Neptune in the night sky. I see Neptune in the night sky. Neptune. 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 The magnet sticks to metal. The magnet sticks to metal. Magnet. Net. Good job, Nora. Good job. I see you. All right, go put it up. Now we're going to switch it up and we're going to whisper the second syllable. So we got to listen for the second syllable. I folded the laundry. 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 Good job. One more. She wrote about her day in her journal. She wrote about her day in her journal. 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 
Jer. Good job. All right, the next game we're going to play is we're cutting off the end of the word. Cutting off the end of the word. Okay, so I'm going to say the word. I want you to repeat after me. Fall. Fall. Now say fall without the all. Good job. It's just the f is what's left, right? Say nice. Nice. Now say nice without the ice. Oh, let's try that again. I'm hearing about half and half. Okay. Mm, ice. And we're going to cut off the ice. Okay, so say nice. Now say nice without the ice. There you go. Say ledge. Now say ledge without the edge. Oh, good job, Mia. And I gave you some house tickets. You're paying attention, following directions. All right, say lash. Now say lash without the ash. Ooh. Say fear. Now say fear without the ear. All right, one more. Say Fit. fit. Now say fit without the it. Great job. Okay, the last thing we're going to do is our alliteration, our silly sentences. Yay! I want you to listen for the first sound that you hear repeated over and over in this sentence. Okay, it'll be the first sound that you hear repeated over and over. Repeat after me. Friendly Frank feels fine. Friendly Frank feels fine. Okay, who can tell me the sound that was repeated over and over at the beginning of the words? Molly. Very good. Let's count it. Friendly Frank feels fine. So we heard the f sound four times at the beginning of those words. All right, you can have a seat on your dot. I want you to show me your smile. We're sitting on our spot. Our mouth is closed. I keep my hands to myself. My legs are crossed and my eyes are up here. We are starting a new unit and learning some new sounds, Brody. And we're going to do some new warm-up activities, some new chaining activities. So we're going to do a few different things today than we've been doing. So you need to be really good listeners, Ari. We need to be listening because we're changing up and doing a few new things. The first new thing we're going to do is our warm-up. So we're going to have a new warm-up focusing on the vowel sounds. Can we do the sound? We will if there's time at the end of the lesson. We'll do the video if there's time at the end of the lesson. 308. We are great. Okay, you've got to show that we are great. Okay, I made this to help you out a little bit. Okay, here are the four vowels that we've learned so far. Okay? So what I did is I put the picture of the vowel, and then beside it, I put the mouth of what your mouth should be looking like. If you are talking, you need to please stop. So, which sound is this? E. E. And here I put the mouth of what your mouth should be doing when you say e. Your cheeks should be squeezed, almost like a smile. Your teeth are almost touching. Okay? So, e. Now, what is this sound? E. E. 
If you look at the mouth, the mouth is open a little bit more. Your teeth are a little further apart, just a little bit. And what is this one? Ah, my mouth is open even bigger now. My teeth are further apart. And what's the last one? Ah, oh. oh. now my mouth is very open. And you can't even see the Okay, what I want you to do is put your hand under your chin and I'm going to point to them. You're going to make the sound and you're going to feel your mouth, Ari, opening as we go. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. e e e you should be filling your chin going down with every sound as you're opening your mouth bigger and bigger. Now, you also see on here that I have some wavy lines because the cool thing about vowels is the air gets to come right out of our mouth with no teeth stopping it, no tongue stopping it, and no lips stopping it. So we're going to see how long we can hold these vowel sounds. So I'm going to point to the sound and I'm going to go along the dotted line and we're going to see how long we can hold that sound. Okay. Okay. Okay, so we're going to start at the top and we're going to go down. Are you ready? Yes. What's this sound? E. All right. What's this sound? Okay, what's this sound? Ah. All right, what's this sound? Ah. Very good. All right, the vowels are the most important sound in the word, Mary. I bet you did not hear me just say that. Vowels are the most important sound in the word. It changes the whole word. It's very important that we know the difference between these vowel sounds and what our mouth is supposed to be doing during this time. Now that is our focus on the vowel sounds. Now we are going to focus on a new sound. But before we learn our new sound, I want to review all of the sounds that we have already learned. So stand up. <coughs> Alright, dream big. If you are talking during our song, we're not going to be able to hear the correct sounds, Nora. Okay, we're going to sing Who Let the Sounds Out? And we are going to Say and practice our sounds. What? <coughs> Maybe at the end of the day. Okay, ready? Who let the sounds out? Who? 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 Who, who let the sounds out? Who? 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 Who, who let the gut out? <coughs> who let the p out? <coughs> Who let that out? <coughs> Sorry, that dry air just is getting to me. All right. Who let that out? <coughs> Who let the zzz out? <coughs> Who let the mmm out? Who let the mmm out? <coughs> Who let the d out? Who let the h out? 
Who let the k out? <coughs> Who let the s out? Who let the v out? Who let the a out? Who let the a out? <coughs> Who let the aw out? Who let the i out? Who let the g out? <coughs> All right, take a time. All right, I don't think I grabbed enough. Okay. Not right now. Mm -mm. All right. <clears throat> Let me mix them up real good. Ready? That is a quiet sound. That's all my tickets for today. <clears throat> all right. All right, you can have a seat. It would hit like right during. Okay, hold up your thumb if you're ready to learn the new sound. All right, good guess, but that's not right. Listen, listen. Brody, sit down. Okay, the new sound is... Okay, listen. I want you to repeat these words after me that start with a b sound. Okay? Bat. Big. Bug. Bag. Boots. Now I want you to repeat after me the words that end with a b. <clears throat> okay. Rub. Rub. Cab. Cab. Tub. Tub. <coughs> Fib. Fib. Rib. Rib. Okay, we're going to play clap and stomp. So stand up. Okay, I'm going to say a word. If it starts with a B, you're going to clap. If it ends with a B, you're going to stomp your foot. Okay, I need everybody standing up. Yep, standing up. No, no, stay right there. 
Okay, the first word is bad. All right, good. I heard some clapping. Clap. It's okay. All right, the next word is rob. Uh-oh. Which one should it be? Stomp. The b is at the end of the word. Okay, the next word is grab. <coughs> oh, good job. That is a stomp. Zarai, you're not the teacher, honey. Worry about yourself. And the last word is bib. Oh, that one should be both. So we're clapping and stomping. All right, stop. That was good. It starts and ends. That was a tricky one. I was trying to see if you could tell. All right, you can sit back down. <clears throat> now we're going to do some sound riddles. <coughs> Raise your hand. Do not yell out. Raise your hand if you can think of the word that I'm thinking of. I'm thinking of a word. It's a color. And it's the color of the sky. Let's see. William. Blue. Blue. Good job. Oh. Ooh. A night sky is black. Very smart. So it could be both, right? <clears throat> okay, so we've got black and blue. Now I'm thinking of another color. And this color is the color of mud. Levi. Brown. B -b brown. Okay, I'm thinking of a sport. <clears throat> and this is a sport I've been watching on TV at, at night the last couple weeks. And it involves hitting a ball with a bat. Let's see. Kendrick. Baseball. Baseball. <coughs> That's right. Okay, I'm thinking of an animal. And it flies through the air. And it says chirp, chirp. Amara. A bird. All right, last one. Thinking of a toy. And it's round. And you can bounce it or kick it or throw it. Mia. Ball. <coughs> a ball. Like a bouncy ball. Okay, now let me explain something because the b sound is kind of a tricky sound because it sounds a lot like the p sound. Look at my mouth. Watch my mouth. B and p. My mouth is doing the same thing, Brody. Did you see that? B yes. I'm pushing my lips together and making that popping sound. So we're going to play another game. This is a rhyming game. I have a list. I have a list of some rhyming words. And what I did is I changed the first sound to start either with a B or a P. And you are going to have to help me. No, Brody, you may not. Okay, I need your help to help me figure out if these words start with a B or if they start with a P sound. So if you want to help me, you need to raise your hand. Okay, the first word I have here is beach, beach. Amara, thank you for raising your hand. Does beach start with a B or a P? B. B, good. So I'm going to move the B over here under the beach. Okay, the next one is a fruit like we talked about today. 
It's a fruit called a peach. So Mary, what sound does peach start with? So these two words rhyme. The only difference is their beginning sound. We have b each and p each. Can I something? No, you're interrupting. Okay, the next two words I have are pad, like a pad of paper, and bad, like my dog when she tears up my shoes. So pad and bad. Sebastian, what sound does pad start with? <clears throat> Very good. <coughs> All right, let's see. Mia, what sound does bad start with? B, b. Very good. Do you see how they sound a lot alike? Okay, now I have two words. I have pig and big. Pig and big. <clears throat> Molly, which sound does pig start with? P. Very good. And let's see. Liliana, what sound does big start with? B. Very good. And they're opposites. All right. The next two words are cab and cap. Now, these are different because they end with the sound. So this time. <coughs> we're not making rhyming words, we're making words with this with the ending sound. Cab is a taxi cab. And then cap is a hat. So let's start with cab. James, does cab end with a b or a p? B. b. Very good. Cab. B. All right, and the last one, or the next one, is cap. Nora, does cap end with a b or a p? p. So cab, cap. All right. <clears throat> next, we have a cob and a cop. Cob and a cop. So Ari. What sound does cob end with? <coughs> cob. What's at the end? B. B. Very good. And what about cop? Cop. William. B. Cop. Very good. All right. The next one, we have tap, like a tap dance, and we have um, tab. The tab is the top part of the soda can that you pop. So let's start with tap, tap. Zarai, what does tap end with? That's right, it's a p. And Axel, what sound does tab end with? B. You guys are doing amazing hearing the difference. Because these sound a lot alike. Okay. <clears throat> I'm going to show you one more thing on my board because there's another way that the B can be tricky. So let me show you <clears throat> what the B looks like. Well, we're going to do a lowercase b. It's a straight line down. And then a circle here, just like that. Is there another sound that we've learned that this kind of looks like? Molly? It kind of looks like the duh, Amara, doesn't it? Thank you, Levi. The duh faces this way, but they look a lot. And we're going to hold them up, Joelle. B, e, d. Good job, Amara. Let's do it again and let everybody do it. 
B Ed. So if you need to look at your hands, you can look down, and the one on the left is B Ed. Okay? So we'll be practicing that a lot this week so we can tell the difference between the B and the D. All right? Okay, this is now your practice time. You are going to practice writing the B sound. Brody, sit up correctly, please. Okay, here's your practice page for you to practice the B sound. So you're going to practice tracing the B, practice writing it on your own, Zarai. And then you're going to spell a word that has the B. So we have B, I, G. What's that spell? Big. <clears throat> now, on the back. You are going to practice spelling some words with a B sound. I'm going to tell you what to do. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to take the word, like this is a bag. What sounds do you hear in bag? B, ag, g. So you're going to circle those sounds, the B, the A, and the G. And then you're going to write the word beside there. Okay, let me tell you what these pictures are so you'll know when you get to them, Mary. You might want to look up here so you know what these pictures are. We have a bag. Say bag. bag. Cab. Cab. Bed. Bed. Bat. Bat. And bib. <coughs> All right, if you need help remembering, you can raise your hand and ask. All right, so you can take your paper to your chair, put your name on it. I can't believe it looks like a... Is that the bu? Okay, so we're going to cross it out and fix it, okay? Yeah. <laughs> I don't, I'd let them start with the back if they want to. Sometimes they want to start with the challenging that side. Was. That was a cab. Cab. <clears throat> okay. Cab. What sounds do you hear in cab? Yeah? Circle it. Here, I have one just like yours so that we can do it together. Where is your word going to start? Is it going to start on the star or the dot? Star. The green means go. That's where we're going to start. We're going to go from left to right to spell our word. Okay, our first word is bop. Bop. So listen for the sounds in bop and spell that word in the middle of your board. Oh, use your hands. Find the bop. Bop. Mm -hmm. All right, you have to get all three sounds. Okay, that's the duh, so if that's not it, then you put it back and get the other one. Which one? This one? I don't know what. That's the duh. D. So find the B. Listen to the ending sound. Bop. Bop. Kendrick, you have dop. You have dop. We're looking for bop. Raise your hand if you need help. Bop. All right, this says 
Okay, now we're going to do like we do on our pocket chart, and we're going to change one sound to make a new word. So I want you to change bop to top. Change bop to top. Right, set your things right here, please. And hold up your thumb when you think you have it. Change one sound to change bop. Come sit down, please. Change bop to top. And hold up your thumb when you think you have it. Okay, bot. Very close, but not quite. Raise your hand, Brody, if you need help. Okay, hold on. Let's go back to bot and try again. Okay, how can you make it say top? Good. We're going to put back the buh and put on a what? T. Very good. All right, we had bop, and we want to change it to top. <coughs> Amara, go sit down, please. So what do you need to put to make it say top? No, ma'am. Okay, where are you going to put that? No, no. We're going to put this back and then put that in there. Nope. Oh. All right, let's see. I need a helper to help me out. All right, you have bot. So you've got the t, but it has to start with the t top. So what's at the end of top? Top. Good. Did I get it right? Yep. All right, what's at the end of top? You got it in your hand. Where's it go? Good job. Okay, let's see. James, how did you change bop to top? How did you do that? Good. We changed the buh to it. So I'm going to put back the buh. And I'm going to add on a t in its place. Did you have to put all the letters back? No, we just changed the first one, right? Okay. We will try this again some more tomorrow, so if you will put your letters back in their place. Here, I'll show you. I'll put it back on mine so you can see where they go.